chest up, shoulders back. This is Revival Fitness, and I am here to deliver some heartbreaking news. If you have long arms, like I do, you're never going to look big. At least, that's what you may be led to believe. And we're going to discuss a lot of things regarding how you perceive your own physique. I was prompted to make this video by a conversation I was having with one of my clients, but I've also had a lot of conversations in the past with guys about this subject. As I've tried to tell you guys many times in the past, the fitness industry is chock full of guys who are anywhere from 5'4 to 5'6. I don't know what that comes out to in centimeters, commie math, but it is well below average height for a Western man. And you cannot control your height, but I tell you this because when it comes to what you see online with the framing and the angles and just shorter bone structures in general, a lot of you have become very disillusioned as to what you're supposed to look like. Not only just from what you see in the mirror, but from what you're going to see in candid photos and videos, especially of what other people take of you. Because anybody can get a pump and walk right up to the mirror, you're practically pushing your ear into it, and you take a nice shot of your bicep, and it looks sick, bro. But then you may be out that weekend, maybe you're with friends, family, at a party or something, and someone catches an off-guard picture of you, and you see it, and you're mortified. Because you're like, oh my god, I look so small. And you begin to shake as you can hear the laughter of thousands of teenagers on TikTok calling you a D-Y-E-L. I'm sure you guys have seen memes like this, when a guy who's under 5'7 lifts weights for three days, and they're already jacked. So in a lot of ways, the gym is sort of God, or the universe, whatever you believe in. It is nature's equalizer for short guys. Because for a lot of the bullying that they may face, and all of the ridicule, and the jokes, and maybe struggles with dating, the gym is their playground. It's their home field advantage, because they have great leverages, especially for stuff that guys obsess over, like the bench press. So keep that in mind as somebody that is average height or above. Whenever you see these very short guys and they look so yoked and they tend to get a lot of attention on social media, would you trade that to live every other aspect of their life? I don't think you would. But when it comes to my fellow Lanklets, a lot of us have physiques that look like this. You just have these gangly arms. The biggest culprit here is going to be the forearms. Typically, the upper arm, bicep, and tricep, for most guys, is not egregiously lanky, but that forearm section, it really looks like a kangaroo. That's the example that I thought of. You see this picture of a kangaroo here? He's got his little joey, and his arms just dangle down so low. And even this kangaroo here, I mean, this guy is jacked. He clearly lifts. He's on those protein shakes. He's got really developed upper arms, and then he's got deer bone wrists, and relatively thin forearms at the bottom. And that's the look you see with a lot of guys, even once they get pretty far in the gym, from the general angle that is not manipulated or calculated. I remember one time on the Discord, somebody asked me, he's like, hey man, my arms don't look big from the front. Your arms are not supposed to look big from the front. I mean, even think about it in a bodybuilding context, the illusion, that's why bodybuilders pose. You're showing off your physique in the best manners that you can, with numerous poses that highlight different parts of the body. A lot of the time, if you see even the person that won the show backstage during an interview, and they're just standing there, they do not look nearly as impressive as they do when they're posing. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. You can guess right now when you think this photo was taken. I mean, some of you may think this is a very recent picture. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Drum roll. Comment down below. I'll give you a few seconds. This picture is from 2020. That's right. This summer, this picture is going to be four years old. And you guys have commented numerous times that I am much bigger now than I was whenever I started this channel. And I think that's pretty apparent. So how does my arm look so crazy in this picture even whenever you see me now in some pictures, it might not even look as good, even though I'm demonstrably bigger and stronger. So what gives? Aside from the potential fluctuation in body fat, because I was on the leaner side at this point, 
It is the posturing. My hand is turned in the opposite direction of me that is going to further enhance the tricep, and I had just done some exercises like some home workouts recording them, so my arms were pumped up, and I had great lighting in my original apartment whenever I first started filming these videos. It was just fantastic. I had a huge open window, and the sun came in. It was just great. That's one thing about me moving since then. I can never seem to find a spot with good natural lighting that is going to be on the list for the next place that I go to. But this picture, if I posted this now, people would probably say, oh man, you're looking pretty good. You would not guess that this was so long ago. You can see another picture of me here. This is in the same location. My arms are much bigger now, but they may look bigger here because the way the lighting is hitting them so nicely and because the body fat. And you gotta give my old iPhone credit. This is pretty high quality stuff. I think this was filmed on an iPhone 8 all those years ago. If you saw one or both of those pictures and then just saw a candid photo of me even right now, especially whenever I'm in peak bulk mode, and there's not really many cuts or lines or anything, people would look at that and say, I'm bigger four years ago whenever I was many, many pounds smaller than I am now. So looks can be very deceiving, and especially whenever you're talking about social media, and these photos are taken over and over and over, and they are ran through so many editing softwares and filters and all this other stuff, you see these photos and your brain doesn't really process all of the things that went into taking the picture. But here is my response to my client. He was talking about how his arm measurements over the course of roughly three months, his arms are increasing in size by roughly a rate of 0.1 inches per month. And he was saying to me how he thinks that is really slow. And he asked me what my arms measure, and I don't know. A lot of you guys ask that too. I don't know. I really don't care. I know you don't like that, but... It's not a measuring contest. It's really a matter of how you look overall when it comes to aesthetics. But I said, I've never measured myself in any regular capacity, but it's going to be pretty slow. An inch of muscle, especially without much fat, is quite noticeable. The time frame you mentioned is basically three months. If you were to gain even 0.5 inches per month, that's an extra 1.5 inches. Over a year, that would be six total inches. You'd have massive arms in that case, like IFBB Pro level. As an example, I say a typical guy, if his arms start at, say, 13 inches, he trains for a decade and reaches 17, that's 4 inches total over 10 years. That's a negligible amount in a small time frame. Once again, this is one of the symptoms of the fitness industry, because you see these guys, and you know, of course, a ton of them are going to claim natural when it's just so painfully obvious that they're not, but they're going to have these gigantic arms, and guys are going to be led to believe that not only that's how they're going to look in a relatively short time frame, if ever, realistically, but they think that that's how they look all the time. The way they're posturing in photos, when they're flexing, always have on very tight shirts, which that's a very classic hack for a dude. I used to do that in college a lot. I would wear very, very tight shirts so my biceps looked bigger than they were. I probably had... I don't know, 14-inch arms flexed back in college, but if I got a pump and got some food in me and wore my really tight shirt, the girls thought I was huge, bro. I know it's very easy to get caught up in the fitness world because you guys are exposed to so much content. Even just casually scrolling through your phone for 30 minutes to an hour a day, I mean, you just see so much stuff now. It can really cloud your judgment. But whenever you're comparing your arms to other guys and just thinking about your arm size in general... I don't look big compared to who I see online. Once you even make some novice gains, you look big to the average person. You may have had this experience whenever you are lifting for even four to six months, and your mom or dad or other family members are like, oh my goodness, you look buff. And you're like, what? They're like, oh my, yeah, I can tell, it's obvious. You might even get accused of steroids by your mom because she's just so shocked at how different you look because she sees you every single day. If you make even small changes to them, the same applies to fat loss too even. Some people on their fat loss journey, if they lose even 20 pounds, people will immediately notice that. They're like, oh man, I can see it in your face, I can see it in your shirt, right? I mean, it's just very obvious to a lot of people. Meanwhile, the person in question is constantly standing on the scale every two hours, tracking all their food, like, I don't think anything's changing. People can tell that it's changing. So that is one of the best ways to... I mean, it's not going to alleviate body dysmorphia, but that's one of the best ways to come down to earth. When people in your life are telling you repeatedly that they can see you're changing, 
you should believe them because they really don't have a reason to lie to you. Even if you are the lankiest guy on earth, if you're six foot seven with arms that go down to your knees, you look like Slender Man proportionally, you build muscles in your arms, everybody you know and that you encounter is going to say, oh my god, that guy's got arm muscles. But the entire topic of short limbs and proportions, that is highly tied to bodybuilding and the aesthetic culture. We go through all these weird calculations in our head because we've just been seeing this type of stuff for so long. And that's how it goes, especially if you are more moderate to high body fat. If you get snapped in these candid photos, you are probably going to look pedestrian, at least in your mind, compared to what you think you should look like of all the stuff you see. Because there's plenty of dudes, as I've mentioned before as well, they are not heavy at all, they're probably 150-ish pounds or so, but they're very, very lean. You can frame them into looking massive. And I see a lot of guys do this, especially on Instagram. They will have a picture, maybe it's of their back, maybe it's of their front, whatever, and they will deep fry that picture so badly because they turn down the brightness and they turn up the sharpness and they do all these sliders to make it look like they're big. Like, if you just see their profile picture from far away, you're like, oh, that's a big dude commenting. He must know what he's talking about. You click on the page, you zoom into the profile picture, you're like, oh... He's been lifting for seven months. And that's why people that take photos and or videos in gyms regularly, they always have the spot. Every gym has that one spot. Oftentimes it might be in the locker room. There's one light that everybody's huddled underneath. Maybe there's a dim light way in the corner of the aerobics room. And notice too, all of these new influencer style gyms that pop up, not only do they have the down lighting installed throughout the entire facility, they also have posing rooms. And you can see people in there taking selfies all the time. And of course a lot of people are not going to show the unflattering images of themselves because it just doesn't do their brand really any good. I've put up some pretty unflattering photos and videos of myself in the past too. I like to be more transparent about this. Some people don't, and that can be a whole other topic about body image. Some people are genuinely scared for anybody else to see those things. So that's a whole other discussion. But ultimately... Don't get fooled by this, guys, thinking everybody looks how they look from the perfect angle and all this other stuff all the time. It is really not like that. Your favorite influencer, no matter how great they look on Instagram, with all the buttons touched, everything dialed up, all this stuff edited, once they get home and they're under basic normal lighting and they don't have the pump and they ate some food, they probably look pretty pedestrian too, whether you realize it or not. So realistically, looking big is not a matter of how tall you are or the limb lengths or anything. That can be used to your advantage in terms of what you post online. But really, the taller people are bigger in the grand scheme of things. And even if you're not as purely muscular as somebody that is shorter with so-called better insertions, better limbs, better leverages, being taller offsets that anyway. Especially to pretty much every single person. So, I think you're going to be okay. But this has been it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in doing some more direct arm work, I have that featured in some of my plans. Be sure to check that out down below. You can get in direct contact with me about your own training and eating. The best way is on Patreon. And you can join our Discord server. Hundreds of members over there as well. And use my links to save money on some great products and services. And I will catch you guys next time.